Hi, I'm Dr. Joe with the LSU Ag Center, and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way of sterilizing your soil using a microwave. Now, first off, you might think, why do I want to sterilize my soil? Well, if you're starting seedlings, it's a good idea to start with sterile soil when you start your seedlings. So there's no microorganisms in there that are going to attack those young, tender seedlings. And so you get a lot of better growth, you get better germination if you start with sterile potting media. And you can buy sterile media, but suppose you have some that you've had around for a little while and you want to reuse it. Well, this is a great money-saving way that you can reuse your soil by sterilizing it in the microwave. So that's what we're going to show you here right now. This is all based on research, so I'm not making this up. They actually did research comparing different ways of sterilizing soil, and the microwave is one great way to do it. And it's very inexpensive because everyone has a microwave in their kitchen. Not everyone has an autoclave, which is another way of sterilizing soil, but everyone has a microwave. So, how do you sterilize potting media or soil with microwave? Well, here what I have is some media from a rooting chamber. And make sure you check for our video on creating a, your own rooting chamber. But this is media that I'm going to start rooted cuttings in. Now, for that, I really want it to be sterile. Now, I've had this for a year or two, and I want to reuse it. So, in order to get it to sterilize in the microwave, first off, the soil has to be moist. So if you're using any kind of potting soil, or you can even do this with dirt right out of your garden. But you want it moist, about 50% moisture. 50% means when you pick it up, it feels wet. It's not drippy wet, but you can see it kind of makes a clump, breaks apart easily. That's about 50% moisture content. And you want that much moisture in your potting mix or your soil before you microwave it. Now, use microwavable containers. I can put the soil directly in here and make a layer of it and microwave it, and it'll be sterile, and then I need to store it. Or, another great way to do it is to use a microwavable, resealable bag. And so, I put about, oh, two pounds or so, of soil in the bag and you leave it open so as it's being microwaved the moisture can escape you don't want it exploding on you but I go ahead and put it into this dish so now I'm going to transfer this into our microwave and show you how you can sterilize your soil in that microwave and we're here at the outdoor kitchen at the New Orleans Botanical Gardens and they have a microwave so what I do I just place the soil in my microwavable bag into the microwave and then I set it for 90 seconds and so that is the the best starting time to microwave your soil 600 watts or higher microwave you're going to be good at 90 seconds so we do it 90 seconds we start the microwave now as it's microwaving once it gets to the end you can check the internal temperature of their soil using your meat thermometer if it's up around 200 degrees you're good 180 to 200 degrees then, you, then it's good. If it's still a little cool because you put extra soil in there, go ahead and microwave it another 30 seconds. Use 30 second increments until you get it up to the right temperature. But I know with mine, 90 seconds is going to be plenty of time for the soil to get up to the right temperature. Okay, our soil is finished microwaving now. And what you want to do, because it can get really hot in there, like I said, a couple hundred degrees. So just to be safe, go ahead and use your hot dish pads or oven mitts as you can see now the bag is steamed up because it's gotten hot in there and what's really nice about microwaving it in a microwavable bag now that I've got the soil sterilized I can just seal the bag and now I can write on there sterile soil a date and I know that I have my sterile soil now that I can use in my rooting chamber or for starting seedlings and I know I've got good clean sterile soil to start with. And I can store this for uh, a couple of months, uh, even a year or so. I like the idea of doing this type of gardening work during the downtime in the winter when there's not quite as much gardening to do. I can go ahead and make my sterile potting mix and my sterile seed starting mix 
for while I'm going to be starting seeds in the spring. Or you can do it during the hot part of the summer to get it ready for your fall. So this is a great inexpensive way to sterilize your potting mix or your seed starting mix using everything that you have already in your kitchen. It gets rid of all those bad guys that are in there and makes growing plants a lot healthier and a lot easier. For the LSU Ag Center, this is Dr. Joe.